you know, they've gone, hey, I'm getting a little hungry. Let's go get some food. The people right. who want to watch Ultimate, though, you can tell that they love this game and that they love their players. They love their homies. And it's been a good top eight so far. I've been enjoying myself. It's been great. It's been great. And from what I hear, it's going to continue to be one for the books. We got Doorstop coming up, going up against Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, is it right back to Isaiah? Wow. So, lot of history, recent history about this set, of course. Doorstop, as I mentioned earlier, self admittedly a fan of the matchup, or at least thinks that it's fine, serviceable, good Pac Man Zero suit, but did go down to Isaiah in winners in game five earlier in the weekend. So, this could be the redemption story for Doorstop or another little pin on the lapel of Isaiah. Yeah, getting that, okay, it wasn't just like a, he wasn't prepared, wasn't in a good mood. Like, no, you got two days to do it. You know, two two matches within the same day, and I still came out on top. Right. Right? So that's what Isaiah is looking to prove here. I will say, fighting a little bit of an uphill battle, it is tough to go right out of not only losing a set, but playing a long set and immediately going into it. Uh, I, I, I know that at Port Priority, my round one, was a 35 minute match against a Rosa player. And then because it took so long, it was just like, yep, you just gotta keep going. <laughs> so it's like, whoo, I am getting tired. So let's see yeah. if Isaiah can stave off those feelings of exhaustion as we get started with our first losers quarters match. And like you said, AG, a rematch between these two from earlier in the tournament. And Isaiah getting off to a hot start, picking up right where he left off. I was gonna say, so far, no breaks and definitely not too exhausted from that previous set already. Being the aggressor for the first 30 seconds here, attacking on just over 100% on the doorstop and threatening some further action with the bell as well. Now grabbing it in hand as the hydrant slows down doorstop's approach. Gonna have to beat that option somehow. And it's, mm -hmm. it looks like doorstop's fine to kind of just take it slow, hit with some Zayers. But you have to have like a pretty measured offense. Any misstep gets hit with the hydrant. Gets hit with that bonus screw, but hold oh. on, the boost kick is gonna take the first stock, and doorstop would look so ready at the ledge right there. That was that was not the finger eleven because you do seem to be paralyzed, and you did get struck by her. <laughs> like no classic rock today. Ooh. I love the idea of throwing out the key really quick in case doorstop goes for a high recovery, but intelligently seeing that you know getting charged up decides to go low. Up to Isaiah to get this comeback started. And for the most part, I think you just kind of stick to the same thing. But Doorstop didn't get to the ledge quickly enough. I mean, honestly, I, <laughs> I think the Hydra 2 framed him. Yeah, it was, looked like it was ill time, but good stuff to Isaiah. Just a lot of pressure, too, to kind of force an option there as well. But the Hydra's so good at just slowing Zero Suit down. Doorstop doesn't really have a lot to do besides wait, maybe throw out a Zero or a forward jill, but. Yeah, Zero Suit needs like particular approach angles right, to right. kind of get close to people and get combos started. And sometimes needs a little bit of distance and then needs to run up and continue those combos. And Pac-Man's so good at shutting that down. You know, you also consider well, one of the ways you get around Hydrant is jumping over and then landing sort of right on top of the Pac-Man with an aerial. But Zero Suit doesn't really have a whole lot of that. The only right. thing that she really has for that is the Nair. But you have to get so deep and so close that the Pac-Man player is going to be able to react in time. Probably hit you with a Nair of his own, usually. Yeah. But still keeping it close, all things considered. Doorstop able to find a couple of straight hits here and there. A lot of damage, though, just from that small opening. Pac-Man really can tack it on. Deceptively fast. See what Doorstop's looking for here. A bit of a big swing with that down smash, Ooh. but another big swing right back. Looking for a jump in, maybe a flip kick as well. Right, how many times have we seen these players be like, yeah, I've got the right read, but they're just like a little bit too right, early right. with it, right? Well, I mean, that's kind of the thing. You kind of have to guess right twice, right? You have to mm -hmm. guess where they're going and guess when they go there. But Doorstop got it all right. Should be able to make <laughs> it back with the boost kick and the flip kick as well. But I love that plasma whip, the side special, so good in certain aspects, but speaking of good, man, Blinky showing up one more time. I mean, just so Ooh. strong, but all the way across PS2, because this is the biggest legal stage in the game, you know, Blast Zone's from the ledge, not the largest, but if you're talking from center stage, certainly, right, and right. even more so if you're going all the way across the stage. So that's exactly why we saw the comparatively light Zero Suit still able to hang on. A little aggressive no. trying to land with that Nair, but now with Melon in hand, I think Thorstop's the type to cook something up with that. I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, actually, something was in the kitchen, unfortunately, though. Looked like Isaiah interrupted at 66 and counting. I love Zare into the boosted F tilt. Really good way to take that stage control mm. back. And good pressure, too, with the added jab. Yeah, nice. knowing that that up air, if you can 
actually land that landing up air. It's not like Smash 4 where you could land, you know, every character had that landing up air. Now it's a lot more precise, but if you do that, you're going to be rewarded with, you know, minus two, minus three, which in Smash Ultimate, I mean, in any Smash game, that's ridiculously good. Oh, no, the burrow into the boost kick surely will seal the deal almost off of the top doorstop with a pretty comfortable game one. It, it was close, but definitely looking more comfortable than their winner's side bout. I see, I see what you did there with calling it the Burrow, too, being from Cincinnati doorstop, of course. So, you know, the Joe Burrow connection. Oh, yeah. You like, okay. Yeah, okay. I like it. I, I like did my it. research. I know, that, I know that that, you know, that side of things, they're more into the, the football than the baseball, oh, which okay. makes me sad. But, you know, the Bengals have been pretty good. So <laughs> well, I'll give it up. I'll have to do some more research, I guess. But going into game two. <laughs> How are you going to work TJ Hoosman Zada into this cast? <laughs> 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 give me a minute. I'll come back. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, all right, already opening up with those Pac-Man forward ears, so wonderfully linked into each other. Good roll back, though, usually considered a bad option, but in that situation, it was just so bad it was good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There were a couple times back in the, back in the day where Pac-Man's grab was kind of like that, but now it's just legitimately so good because it's right. active forever like you'd expect the tractor beam to be. <laughs> yeah, you, like you spot dodge and still get grabbed by it, and you're like, yeah. Yeah, it, that, that's my bad, right. honestly. Ooh. <laughs> you're right, that was my mistake. Oh, Down no. toss on the bell and then immediately into Blinky, who's just hitting the, huh? Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I get it too. And Ooh. wow, speaking of that grab, catching a dodge back as well. This is a very different Isaiah than the previous games. Very aggressive so far, or at least like has the opportunity to be fairly aggressive. Doorstop trying to slow it down with those forward tilts and the Zares. Flanks with the Hydrant as well, really good stuff. Definitely slowing it down, I say, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Which, honestly, again, doorstop, you think of him as like a more aggressive player, loves getting, you know, things started with the ZSS, but if he needs to camp, by God, he will camp. If he needs to slow the game down, by God, he will, because Zero Suit, I mean, it's sort of in the same, like, Sonic theorem, right? right you right. have the speed to control the pace at which interactions happen. Now, granted, if the Pac-Man's got the lead, you want some interactions to happen, because if he just sits behind the Hydrant forever, then nothing's gonna happen. You're gonna get DD versus Sonics, right? right? But on the other hand, right, you can say, hey, maybe Isaiah will kind of run up, try to get something started with the bell, and then you flick that Hydrant right back at him. That was so smart, too, because of a bit of a delay from Doorstop, it actually made the hitbox linger because it hit the bonus fruit. Had Doorstop mm. just let those two forward tilts run, it would have gone too fast and Isaiah would have probably just grabbed the bell as well. So really good stuff for doorstop right there. Isaiah, though, bringing it right back, trying to keep this lead as well. Man, that's, I was going to say, you talked earlier about how much Isaiah just kind of in any moment possible oh. is building up those fruits, but that's the second time we've seen doorstop hit him with that, charging up that down smash a little longer than he expected. I kind of think at this point for Isaiah, it's just going to be, okay, you're charging that down smash. I'm just going to take my free getup attack. You know, right. it's been a little bit greedy to try to call out the timing on that and get, like, a proper punish because that's not really what you do against that move at the ledge. Right. Uh, I definitely understand. It, it's hard to make a decision in that moment, but getup attack might be the difference. Right now, though, doorstop, really good vertical pressure, really good strings, but Isaiah finds some footing in the bell, Ooh. connects. But that Isaiah dodge. honestly just did not oh, expect no. that to happen. Doorstop dropped onto the trampoline to make it back. I thought that that was definitely curtains, but Pac-Man recovery, it taketh away, but sometimes it do also giveth. Yeah, when I saw the kick come out of the flip kick, I was very worried. Wow. Picked up the apple too. Doorstop playing so wonderfully. In the right zone. Now. Yes, that flows. The end mentioned. zone, that is. The it blast is. zone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's well. the thing that we actually call it. That's <laughs> too football brand. You're talking about yeah. Joe Burrow. Right. <laughs> touchdown! Yeah. Ooh. Well, touchdown for Isaiah, I guess. I don't. Know. Finally hitting the ground, yeah. Yeah. But, which he is having trouble doing right now, man. This juggle from doorstop has been going on for a minute. Ninety-three percent. Tried to hit it, and there Isaiah's like, okay, yeah. It, even if it's not the get-up attack, that Nair is definitely going to shift around that down smash. Nice punish there, and it, once again, I mean, this game could go to anybody because ZSS is so light, that bell is close to being able to set up for a KO. Yeah, the, the old running joke from Laid, my favorite Pac-Man ever do it, the forward smash is actually just Pac-Man's final smash. Yeah. That thing, if you hit the bell at 72 on zero suit, surely that would take the stock. Not gonna find the first down Twice. smash, but the second one will do it. And another beautiful boost kick from doorstop, bringing us into the next game. Doorstop just splashed in the ground, just emptying his whole mag into the AstroTurf. <laughs> and then it's just like, it's working out.
We've seen that hit so many times already in this set, and I say it's just like, I don't know why I keep like running into that. Like, just <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good stuff. Like, the one that did get punished by the Nair was misspaced by Doorstop, but Pac-Man, when you're stuck at that spot, doesn't have a lot of options to get around it if Doorstop decides to just play it like half a roll distance, basically. Mm -hmm. And we just saw it right there. Even after the first one, you think, oh, now's my time. It doesn't have much cooldown either, so we saw another one from Doorstop to take that last game. And now mm -hmm. Doorstop up 2-0 is going to be a big battle, but it looks like Isaiah's ready for it. Yeah, big damage, 75% right out of the gate. And yeah, could have some of those adaptations in mind, especially all the stuff that he can use to conduct the pace of the match. Of course, you have to have the lead as Pac-Man to be able to do that. And we saw Isaiah playing with that in that last one. But again, I, this is what we talked about at the beginning of this block too, but just the amount of damage that you get per hit is so important. Ooh. And Doorstop does a great job of maximizing that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Doorstop ran over there two parries. Just two parries, yeah. just to <laughs> let you know. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, the Hydrant has an unfortunate amount of health for Zero Suit too. We saw right there. Zare forward tilt doesn't do it. You have to put in one more Zare to knock mm -hmm. it away. Uh, but Doorstop doing some pretty interesting things right there. Down tilt and fair also needs a Zare as well. Fighting back here. Good Hydrant to kind of slow it down. But of course, one of the things if you're attacking the Hydrant too, that will stale your moves. Ooh. So it is better for Doorstop to mix up the moves he's using. Isaiah once again picking up that bell a little bit too early, not expecting it to actually hit Doorstop. Ooh. So getting punished for that presumption, but with the back throw, does get one on the board, getting to play with the lead now, and having that to get off the ledge. You were talking about Pac-Man not having a lot of options to get off the ledge against Zero Suit, and you've got that down smash threatening. Bonus Fruit is one of the best things you can use to get off of it, and particularly if you have the Galaxian or the Bell or the Key, any of those high tier ones, those can be really, really helpful for getting you off the ledge against her, because even if you have to re-grab realistically, you can drop down, you can up B, you can do something to just refresh the situation. Ooh, okay, side special also try to catch a jump. Side, or sorry, the up special also almost got hit mm -hmm. by the up smash, but kind of just big whiffs right now for both of the players. Doorstop still not able to take this first stock, and I feel like Isaiah's kind of running away with the momentum. We're not going to be able to see the Zare to bear quite yet. Plasma whip not finding the mark, and the DI check was passed too. Isaiah is just proving pretty impossible for Doorstop to deal with right now. Yeah, this is Pac-Man with the lead at its finest. And what we were talking about with the ZSS struggle in this matchup too, I love trying to chase that Galaxian as well, knowing that it was going out at the right angle, but Doorstop catching that get-up attack, which we were talking about earlier, right? Isaiah might start throwing those out to deal with the down smashes at the ledge, reacted too late. Doorstop got that easy punish afterwards, that Fire Hydrant deactivated as well. Ooh, okay. Ooh Clyde getting in the action, yeah. okay. <laughs> I was thinking earlier, I was like, we haven't seen Pinky and Clyde in a no, second. No, they're in the back, only for desperate occasions. <laughs> Break glass in case right. of Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was worried for a Doorstop there. A little re-grab punish does still manage to hold on to the stock though, and now able to kind of run away with a bit of a combo here. Does get the spike, but short of actually spiking off stage. Yeah, not off stage, right? So you're just gonna take the damage, take the juggle, but Isaiah fighting at a disadvantage. Well, with the bell setting up at the ledge, he's like, Doorstop, you like doing that to me, right? How yeah. about if I how about if I leave a paralyzing hitbox <laughs> sitting right there? <laughs> so like, hey, I, I like what you're doing. I'm gonna uh, get a little version myself. But. In the in the words of the, the Jamie that I played, he was streaming, so I got to see his reaction. <laughs> There was a Jamie playing me while I was saying, and he would just go to level three and then command grab me over and over. <laughs> he was just, let's see how he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah doing the same. Mm -hmm. Oh, Plasma Whip. Could have been a good punish, but Doorstop. Blub <laughs> and the taunt. Also bum, another bum, bum. Bum. <laughs> the, the, What kills me is that that taunt looks like a grab almost, too. It kind of does, yeah, because he throws out the. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh, he, he, he showed you the sheriff. I'm he was yeah. like, that's yeah. illegal, by yeah. the way. <laughs> <laughs> Calling the police. <laughs> Okay, should be able to get a pick up right there. You have the back air, catches a get up attack. Doorstop was able to make a bit of a comeback, but now we have the lead for Isaiah again. Let's see if we can get some extra credit or if Doorstop can find a hit, but that down here is a good way to get it started. Ooh, good route. Paralyzer not gonna connect to either Isaiah, just doing such a great job of playing with this lead. Again, we talked about it, but Zero Suit has a hard time opening up Pac-Man if she is not able to control the pace of the game, and Isaiah is definitely the one in control. Oh. Right back up to ledge, there's the get-up attack, anticipating that meaty hitbox. Nice, got the boosted, down angle forward till again. Really good extended pressure, nice stall with the Hydrant as well to mix up the timing. The doorstop Ooh. couldn't find the hit with the up smash either. 
Isaiah attacking on the damage, and it's going to keep going to that dash attack. Um, nom, nom. Right. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Hongi. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Mm, yeah, I like the idea of down tossing the bell right there, right? Might give you some of those extra frames while it's bouncing, right. but doorstop unfazed. Just going to go with that pivot cancel forward tilt to set the Pac Man at the ledge. Unteckable. It's not over yet. Definitely not. This could be the start of a big comeback for Isaiah, or this could be doorstop making a statement here in Loser's Quarters. They are back to it. Isaiah, only a few big hits away, maybe even just one bell, but doorstop can get it started right now. Isaiah stuck in the corner, ends up jumping around, getting some time to get that bonus fruit. Ooh, There's oh, his air. Open it up. Oh, look out for the Nair and a flip kick. It's every ZSS's favorite present. And Doorstop waking up on Christmas morning to close out a 3-0. Playing from behind that whole game. It went down to some low numbers on that timer, but he opened up the box and said, my favorite, how did you know? Right, right. There is always something I talk about during matches like that. And it's, uh, you know, remember your win conditions, play to your outs, et cetera, et cetera. And that was a phenomenal way to demonstrate it. Even with that deficit, 28% is just about when it starts to make sense with 90% on the zero suit as well.